when the whole world was running after electric vehicles, when Tesla, BYD and other companies were trying to beat each other in the EV race, Honda has made such a move that has shaken the foundation of the entire EV industry. Honda has made such an engine that is being discussed in the entire global market. Now the question is, has Honda really made something that will force battery-operated cars to think, is the dream of EV about to end now? And what is so special about this engine that is making it a game-changer for the whole world? This is not just any ordinary engine, this is the hybrid monster of the future, which is a combination of both petrol power and electric efficiency. No hassle of charging, no tension of battery, only strong performance, low fuel cost, and long range. So now the question arises, should Elon must be afraid? Are big companies like BYD going to have sleepless nights? In this video, we will tell you the whole truth about Honda's revolutionary engine, its technology, the thinking behind it, and how it can change the entire EV world. So before you move ahead in the video, subscribe to the channel so that you could be the first to see such amazing updates. Before knowing about that new engine of Honda, let's know a little about Honda. So let's go back a little to the time when the speed of cars and bikes had just started in the world, and Japan was moving towards a big technological revolution. There was a man in that era. Soichiro Honda was not the son of a very rich father but belonged to a poor family. But he had a passion to make something that would change the world. He left his studies, but his love for engineering never diminished. At a young age, he started working in a car garage, and from there began Honda's journey. Initially, Soichiro Honda started making piston rings but kept failing again and again, but he did not give up. After facing rejections many times, his products finally caught the attention of Japanese companies. Then came the Second World War, which ruined everything. The factory was destroyed. The situation worsened. But Honda showed courage once again. After the war when everything was over, Soichiro Honda started installing motors on bicycles. And from there, Honda Motor Company was born. This was not a big start. It was just an idea that was made bigger with hard work. Slowly, Honda started making motorcycles and that too such that they were not only cheap, but also durable and powerful. The Honda Super Cub came in 1958, and this bike created a stir not only in Japan but in the whole world. It sold so much that even today it is counted among the best-selling motorcycles in the world. And from here, Honda gained momentum. After this, Honda entered the world of vehicles. They started making cars in the 1960s, and in 1972, the Honda Civic entered the market, an affordable, reliable, and fuel-efficient car that became the choice of every middle-class family. Then came the Honda Accord, which left Honda's mark in the U.S. and European markets. People understood that Honda means the name of trust. The special thing about Honda was that they never made cars just for show. They put technology, mileage, low maintenance, and customer needs at the top. This is the reason why names like Honda Activa and Honda City have become a household name even in a country like India. As the world changed, Honda also changed itself. They tried their hand at hybrid cars, worked on hydrogen fuel cell technology, and even made air taxis and robots. Yes, they did seem a little behind other companies in the EV race, but the step they have taken now with a hybrid engine can surprise everyone. Today, Honda is not just a car company, it is a brand, a name of trust. People from every class in every corner of the world have driven Honda cars. And it all started with the dream of one man, Soichiro Honda, who used to repair cars himself. Now that they have presented this new engine to the world, it is important to know the history because when someone who started from zero brings something new, then understand that something big is about to happen. So let's know now what is there in this new engine of Honda that can shake the EV industry. How is this engine different from all the others? Now the biggest question is, why is this new engine of Honda so different from other engines? Is there really something in it that is going to give sleepless nights to EV companies like Tesla? And if it is just a hybrid engine, then why is there so much commotion about it? So let's get straight to the point now and, without beating around the bush, let us tell you why this Honda engine is called Hyper Hybrid and how far ahead it is from all other engines. First of all, this engine is not a normal hybrid engine like you might have seen in Toyota or old Honda cars. This Hyper Hybrid technology is based on a completely new idea. It has a combination of a petrol engine and an electric motor, but the coordination created between these two is amazing. Usually, hybrid vehicles either run only in EV mode or in petrol mode, but this Honda engine runs both of them together, like all the instruments in a music team play at the right time. 
This engine uses the EV system, which is Honda's latest innovation. It has a powerful 2L Atkinson cycle petrol engine, and two electric motors are attached to it. One motor drives the car and the other only charges the battery. But the special thing is that the car runs on the electric motor most of the time. The petrol engine is activated only when needed, that is at high speed or during fast acceleration. This saves fuel. The battery gets charged automatically and driving remains very smooth. Now, talking about power, this engine gives an output of about 184 horsepower. That is so much power that you can drive it without hesitation even on the highway and can also drive it without any jerk in city traffic. And now the most important thing, mileage. So listen, the mileage of this engine can go up to 20 to 28 kilometers per liter, that too in real world conditions. That is the mileage that you get from a small diesel car. You will now get that much mileage from a hybrid petrol car and that too without any hassle of charging. But the matter does not end here. The most special innovation in this engine is its intelligent power management system. This system itself decides when to run the car in electric mode, when to turn on the petrol engine, and when to run both simultaneously. This means that the driver does not need to do anything. Everything happens automatically. Just drive and the technology will take care of you. This continuous recharging capability significantly reduces the dependency on external charging infrastructure, effectively eliminating range anxiety, a primary concern for many potential EV buyers. The system is so efficient that for daily commutes and average city driving, a driver might rarely need to refill the petrol tank, as the electric motor handles the majority of the workload. Furthermore, Honda has engineered this hyper-hybrid system to be incredibly durable and low-maintenance. The components are designed to work in harmony for extended periods, reducing wear and tear on both the petrol engine and the braking system. This longevity translates to lower ownership costs over time, making it an economically attractive option for consumers who are wary of the high replacement costs associated with EV batteries. Honda's approach is not to outright replace the electric vehicle but to offer a pragmatic and highly efficient transition technology. For markets where the electrical grid is still developing or where renewable energy penetration is low, this engine provides a immediate solution for reducing emissions without compromising on convenience or performance. It is a strategic masterstroke that caters to the present needs of the global population while the world gradually builds the necessary infrastructure for a full electric future. This move positions Honda not as a laggard in the EV race, but as a pragmatic innovator. While other companies are betting everything on a single all-electric future, Honda is leveraging its engineering prowess to deliver a powerful, practical, and accessible alternative that addresses the current shortcomings of the EV industry. This is why this engine is more than just an incremental improvement. It is a potential game-changer that could redefine the trajectory of automotive technology for the next decade. Now another interesting thing. In normal hybrid vehicles, either the engine is put under load to charge the battery, or it is charged by braking energy. But the regenerative braking system in Honda's hyper-hybrid engine is so powerful that just by applying brakes, the battery gets charged to a great extent. This means that the battery is always getting recharged while driving. 